Hi, I'm Dr. Sureka Pai, obstetrician and gynecologist working at NMC Speciality Hospital Abu Dhabi. Every pregnancy is precious. Every pregnant woman deserves a best medical care during her nine months of pregnancy and childbirth. A trusted partner, your obstetrician can make this nine months of journey safe and smooth for you. Early pregnancies do have complications. If taken care in time, maternal lives are saved. Recently, the maternal deaths have been decreased because of early checkups, improved imaging science, and early treatment. Now, let's concentrate on ectopic pregnancy. The word meaning of ectopic pregnancy is misplaced. Usually, the egg is released from the ovary. It gets fertilized in the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube is a tubular structure which connects the ovary to the womb. And this fertilized egg gets swept down the tube to the womb where it grows over 9 months. For any reason, if this egg fails to reach the womb, it leads into ectopic pregnancy. The commonest site of ectopic pregnancy is a fallopian tube. The lesser common sites are the mouth of the uterus, that's called cervix, ovary, abdominal cavity, and if you have a previous scar on the uterus like caesarean or myomectomy scars. One out of 100 women do develop ectopic pregnancies and who are at increased risk for this condition. Pregnant women who are at the age more than 40 years, who smoke, who take fertility treatment. For example, if you have had IVF, your chance of having ectopic pregnancy increases by four folds. For any reason, if you had some infection in the tube, like chlamydial infections, gonococcal infections, tubercular infections, a past history of appendicitis will increase your risk of ectopic pregnancy. You usually see a doctor with abnormal bleeding or pain. The symptoms appear usually 4 to 6 weeks after the missed period. And the symptoms are abnormal bleeding and this bleeding may be a little different from your normal cycle. It may be a little heavier, it may be a little lighter, it's a darker or thinner and usually pain. This pain may be a dull aching pain, it starts slowly and then it becomes more and more and it may be localized to one side. And this pain is usually not relieved with the painkiller and not by changing the posture. You may have a bubble symptoms like diarrhea and difficulty in passing the bubble, painful bubble movements. At times, this pregnancy grows outside the womb and these places are not suitable for the pregnancy growth. So these structures rupture and the bleeding occurs into the abdominal cavity. Suddenly the patients may have a dizziness and they faint and they brought to hospital as a medical emergency. You need to see a doctor. There will be a detailed history taking and examination. You have both external and internal examination and you will be sent for some blood test, usually the pregnancy hormone levels. Maybe you will be sent for a scan. It will be an internal scan we call transvaginal ultrasound which will detect where is the pregnancy seated, whether it is outside the uterus or inside the uterus, what is the gestational age of this pregnancy and whether there is any blood collection inside the abdominal cavity. We have three types of treatment options. One is medical management, the second one is a surgical management and the third one is a conservative management. What is the common question asked is, what is my chances of having next pregnancy normal? 80% of patients with the previous ectopics can have a normal pregnancy which can go up to 9 months and end up in a very beautiful baby. But your risk of having ectopic pregnancy is 7 to 10 out of 100 in the next pregnancy and this increases if the tubes are damaged and there is infection and some other conditions. So you need to contact your doctor for further information. Having early pregnancy checkups is very important. It saves lots of trouble and it will increase your carry home baby rate and protects you from lot of complications of pregnancy. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it will be helpful for you.